Good afternoon. We are on Sunday, the 10th of July, 2022. And at this time, 4.30 p.m. on the 10th of July, this beautiful, lovely lady, Misty Cat, was her name online with me on YouTube. And um, her real name is Linda, Linda Hicks. And she died at this time last year. Linda Hicks, 17th of April, 1958 to the 10th of July, 2021. And I went to her funeral and had the honor of reading at St. Peter's Church of England on Wednesday the 4th of August 2021 at 2.30. And I'm remembering her now. And um, after I've read today's mass readings, I will share what is on the card. And tonight I'm going to go live in memory of her because she used to listen to me and said that I was her lifeline. And um, we spoke on the phone and emailed. She had no idea that she was going to die in a few months after we became online friends. And uh, she was only um, bedridden with serious arthritis. She did not die from COVID, but her husband, at the beginning when she was first taken into hospital on the 19th of June last year, for pain management, had no idea she was going to die. None of us did. She used to love, I'm going to get comfortable, the rosary. And every night, she'd be waiting for us to pray the rosary. She was not baptized when she first followed me. And she asked me one day if I would arrange her for her to be baptized Catholic. Anyway, I'm here to read the mass for today. She was baptized before she died. Um, I'll tell you the story tonight or later when I read more of her card. But I want to honor her memory because Deborah Roll, my spiritual daughter from Queensland, used to communicate with her as well. And they're great cat lovers. So is her husband, bless him. Please pray for him today. He's got two friends with him because one member of his family had COVID and he's not allowed to to be with them either. So he's with two friends right now. So, and we're having a mass said in Guildford, St. Joseph's at 5 p.m. And at 8 p.m. tonight, uh, I'll begin the prayers at 8.30, whether um, Deborah accesses with her phone at 8.30 p.m. our time, it's 5.30 a.m in Australia, um, I will pray the rosary and many other prayers in memory of Misty Cat is what we call her, but Lynn is her real name, Linda Hicks, bless you, rest in peace. I'm now going to share this Sunday, 10th of July, 2022, the um, prayers and mass readings for today. It's now 4.38 p.m. or 16.38. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide, Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan, and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. We are now on the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time. I'm going to read now, and the theme, The Word is very near to you for your observance. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 10 to 14. Moses said to the people, Obey the voice of the Lord your God, keeping those commandments and laws of his that are written in the book of this law. And if you return to the Lord your God with all your heart and soul, for this law that I enjoin on you today is not beyond your strength or beyond your reach. It is not in heaven so that you need to wonder who will go up to heaven for us and bring it down to us so that we may hear it and keep it? Nor is it beyond the seas so that you need to wonder who will cross the seas for us and bring it back to us so that we may hear it and keep it. No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for your observance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is Psalm 68 and the response is Seek the Lord you who are poor and your hearts will revive seek the lord you who are poor and your hearts will revive this is my prayer to you my prayer for your favor in your great love answer me o god with your help that never fails lord Answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. Response, seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. As for me, in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Response. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. For God will bring help to Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. The sons of his servants shall inherit it. Those who love his name shall dwell there. Response, seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for the second reading is as follows. All things were created through Christ and for him. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 1, verses 15 to 20. 
Christ Jesus is the image of the unseen God and the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, everything visible and everything invisible, thrones, dominations, sovereignties, powers. All things were created through him and for him. Before anything was created, he existed and he holds all things in unity. Now the church is his body. He is its head as he is the beginning. He was first to be born from the dead so that he should be first in every way because God wanted all perfection to be found in him and all things to be reconciled through him and for him. Everything in heaven and everything on earth when he made peace by his death on the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The alternative acclamation is Your words are spirit and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The theme for the Gospel Who is my neighbour? The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Glory be to you, O Lord. There was a lawyer who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbour as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this, and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of brigands. They took all he had, beat him, and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be travelling down the same road, but when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. 
In the same way, a Levite who came to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveller who came upon him was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. He then lifted him onto his own mount, carried him to the inn and looked after him. Next day, he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back, I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbour to the man who fell into the brigand's hands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. Jesus said to him, Go and do the same yourself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I went to church today. I was blessed enough to be able to reach there. The workman came here and fixed this chair or I'd be very uncomfortable now because the other chair also, the red um, computer table chair, the wheel fell off last night and I put it back on to record. But I was daren't move. I still wouldn't dare move on it. So this one is now secure. The leg was a bit at an angle and they took that leg off and put on another one. So I'm not going to move much on this either. I don't trust myself moving at all on chairs anymore. <laughs> so um, I heard wonderful preaching at Hunt Stanton today from Father Michael, who's 89 years old and he's amazing. He still preaches like he's 30 years old. And um, I can't preach like he does. So I'm not even going to try. So what I'm going to do is share, I haven't read um, Misty Cat's funeral card for a while and I and ask you to pray for her husband Stephen. They had no children, they, they looked after cats and rescued cats and there was vets at her funeral and nurses and lovely, lovely people. So in memory of her, I'm going to read what is on the funeral card. Her name, I've told you already, is in loving memory of Linda Hicks. 17th of April 1958 to 10th of July 2021. And the service was held at her husband's childhood church where he sang in the choir at St. Peter's Church in Guildford. Gathering in welcome, and the Reverend Joe Tricky, a nice young lady, took this service and the hymn, All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, God made their glowing colours. God made their tiny wings, the purple-headed mountains, the river running by, the sunset and the morning that brightens up the sky, the cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, God made them every one. God gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell. How great is God Almighty, who has made all things well. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. 
the prayers of the penitent. As children of a loving Heavenly Father, let us ask his forgiveness, for he is gentle and full of compassion. God of mercy, we acknowledge that we are all sinners. We turn from the wrong that we have thought and said and done and are mindful of all that we have failed to do. For the sake of Jesus, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and help us to live each day in the light of Christ. Amen. And the Collect. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and comfort us. Renew our trust in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our faith that all who have died in the love of Christ will share his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The readings. A reading from John chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 7. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this and I will be their God and they will be my children. 
the word of the Lord. Then there was a sermon by Reverend Joe Tricky, and now there is a hymn which I will um, say rather than sing. The Lord is my shepherd, I will not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastures green he leadeth me, the quiet waters by. My soul he doth restore again, and me to walk doth make. Within the paths of righteousness, e'en for his own name's sake. Yea, though I walk in death's dark veil, yet will I fear none ill. For thou art with me, and thy rod and staff me comfort still. My table thou hast furnished, in presence of my foes. My head thou dost with oil anoint, and my cup overflows. Goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me, and in God's house for evermore my dwelling place shall be. The prayers concluding with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and the Protestant version, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The dismissal and blessing. May God give you his comfort and his peace his light and his joy, in this world and the next, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. I'm now going to listen to the Mass. It's just beginning. <clears throat>